What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this John Deere riding mower and the problem is that the deck belt keeps coming off when you disengage the blades. Let's take a good look at it and see if we can find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. I'm not sure how you feel about John Deere mowers but I have to say this mower is built very well. However, it does have its issues. Since the plastic hood is prone to breaking, it's been missing for quite some time. Of course, you don't need a hood to mow, but it looks a lot nicer with one. Now, that's more of a complaint than a problem, but the real problem is when you disengage the blades, the belt wants to come off, and then you have to stop and fix it. The belt usually comes off the drive pulley under the engine, and it's easy enough to fix. It's just a real hassle. Let's remove the belt and check it for any issues. I didn't pay any attention on how the belt was ran, which is the worst case scenario, of course, so we'll have to figure it out later on. And after checking the belt, it's got a few cracks in it, but that wouldn't cause the belt to come off the pulleys, though. Well, we finally found the problem. Part of the belt is extremely worn and very thin. It's almost broken, so we're going to have to replace it. Now, when buying a new belt, and for some reason you can't find the model number, find all the information you can about the mower so you can purchase the correct belt. So here's the new belt, and the part number is on the label, but it may not be the OEM number. It may be a number that the supplier may have put on it for their records. Now the numbers that are more universal are printed on the side of the belt, and it basically lets us know that this belt is about 114 inches long and is a V-belt. And before we install the belt, let's compare the two belts to make sure that they're about the same size. Now if your belt is broken, a comparison like this is going to be difficult, if not impossible. And luckily for us, the new belt is very close to the old belt size, so let's continue on with the installation. We're not going to take the deck off, but to make installation a little easier, we're going to need to make some more room. Let's start by lowering the deck and then disconnecting the front hanger. This is going to allow us a little bit more room to run the belt around the pulleys. Now after disconnecting the front hanger, we can finally raise the mower up. It goes without saying that raising a heavy mower is quite dangerous. Please be careful and take every precaution. Use jack stands or ramps for your safety. Now I'm going to take one of the pins off of one of the lift arms just to make filming a little easier. You don't have to do this part. If you remember earlier I said I didn't remember how the belt went on, I really didn't know how the belt went on at all. So I'm going to put the belt on the best way that I think it should be ran. And after running the belt, well it turns out that I was very wrong in its routing. I had to search the internet and find out the correct way of doing it. Now it turns out the belt runs to the front pulley from the inside of the two inner pulleys and not the two outer spindle pulleys. Another reason why your belt might keep coming off is that there might be a problem with one of the pulleys. It could be damaged or possibly even misaligned. And after fixing the belt, pull the belt towards the engine and then work it onto the pulley. And after the belt's been installed, make sure that it's not riding on any of its guards that keep the belt from coming off of the pulleys.
Now to test the belt, you can of course start the engine and then engage the blade, but you can also test it by engaging the blade and then try moving the blade by hand. If it's tough to spin, then the belt has been correctly installed. However, if the blade still spins freely, then you might have to check the PTO cable and its spring. So my question to you is, would you buy a reinforced belt for your mower? Or would you buy a cheaper belt that doesn't have the reinforcement and is about half the cost? I'm really interested in your opinion. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.